the artistic director of the Hippodrome, a 40-year-old regional theater, um, mainly serving the mission of the theater, making sure that, uh, you know, we tell stories that are pleasing to the demographic of our community, take risks, make people laugh, make them cry, make them wonder, throw a good party. Well, I guess it was either barrel riding or theater, and I took the most dangerous choice and decided to go with theater. Uh, I had graduated from Baylor with an undergrad in directing and uh, had freelanced for a while, mostly as an actor, because it's hard to get arrested as a director since you can't carry a troupe around with you, and uh, decided to go to grad school. So came to UF to go to grad school to get a master's in acting and ended up finding an artistic home, and here I am. Trying to learn from what I did last time so that you don't keep hitting your head against the same brick wall to get the same results. Moving forward, uh, always being the constant student. I mean, you know, plays are, the, the playwright is different, the company of actors you have are different. Uh, remaining flexible, uh, knowing that you have to shift gears immediately if you need to, and being willing to do that. Um, really embracing process and letting the product sort of take care of itself. You know, I, I gotta admit, I kind of fuel up on the story I'm telling to fuel for the next one. I love it so much. Uh, even if it's exhausting or more challenging uh, from one piece to the next, um, you sort of fill up and do it. And then you're so exhausted and you think, oh gosh, you know, if I just had a break, but then I get so antsy, you know, I'm ready to dive back in immediately. But I do have, you know, some private tricks and personal time and uh, domestic life that I do find ways to fill up the jar again. Of course I have been in a show that wasn't working and then it turned out to sort of have, you know, the hand of God come down and touch it and say, well, thought you might need a little intervention here. Um, but you know what's weird? It's so subjective. That's one of the things that keeps me coming back. Um, I can tell you that we've had shows that have sold out to full capacity that I've had my name on as director that I possibly have not been overtly in love with. And then there's been shows that I've directed that perhaps uh, did not draw a large crowd that are probably some of my most uh, proud moments. So I think the subjectivity of the audiences carrying away what they choose to carry away, I just tell the story and let them decide how they feel, that um, I guess that's one of the reasons I keep coming back to this thing. You know, I think the best theater is done with company. And when I say company, I mean it's just like IBM, you know, they take care of their employees. Uh, you know, for me, company means that you hire the same actors as much as possible uh, for many reasons. Number one, uh, because the rehearsal period is short. Um, you need the trust and the shortcut going into the room. And you also have this uh, idea of nurturing and commitment that you might not can take care of all the actors in the world, but by golly, you can take care of a group and allow them to stretch their artistic wings. So um, company is always the best way to tell a story, always. You know, Edward Albee said something in a speech one time that the arts keep us from being barbaric. Uh, that it's a chance for us to look back on history, to correct things, a chance to uh, look at ourselves inside of stories, tilt our head, wonder, leave, knowing something we might not have known. So if you go off of Mr. Albee's words that the arts keep us from being barbaric, then the Hippodrome serves a purpose in Gainesville of allowing us to have a community where people gather like they do in church or at the football games and come and share a common experience and keeps us asking questions, maybe just laughing together, but it creates community. And, um, you know, I'm a big politic junkie too. And um, so I think that, you know, it all starts in your own hometown. And I think community's part of it, and we provide that. We're all in it together, so why not?